What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be quite exciting and interesting because Samsung has introduced a brand new update for one of its good luck modules called Theme Park, which takes the customization to the next level. You remember recently Apple introduced the glass effects on their UI on the iOS 26? And maybe Samsung thought about that and introduced some glass elements on the icons instead of the entire UI. So let's check out what has changed on Theme Park. But before we go ahead, if you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application Wallverse yet, go ahead, download it. There are free and premium wallpapers on the application and we are also adding live wallpapers very soon. So go ahead, download link is in the description. I'm sure you're gonna love the wallpapers on this application. And yeah, while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like as well. Now, without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Let me go ahead and open Theme Park Engine. We can customize the themes on the Galaxy phones using this engine. We've got various different options here, theme, keyboard, quick panel customization, icon customization, and volume panel customization. And with this new update, the icon customization has got some new features. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let me tap on create new here. Now you can see these are the default icons and we can also add the third party icons by tapping on this icon pack. What has changed here is when you tap on this FX, you will see some brand new options here. You've got basic, film grain, dual tone, glass, and gradient. So Samsung has not only introduced the glass effects for the icon, they have also added gradient, dual tone, and film grain to the icons. I'm gonna show you how they look. Below this, we have got the icon color option and tray color option. We can choose the one we want. And we have got the shapes that we can select. We have got various different shapes here. Select the one you like, and if you want more, you can tap on plus button and select any icons or shapes from the gallery as well. So let's just uh, skip this and let's tap on film grain here. Now you can see we have got these uh, sliders here for grayscale, which is currently 100%, and we have got the noise slider as well. Now if I increase the noise here, you can see the uh, noise on the icon increases. This is a very unique effect that we get. I haven't, haven't seen this kind of an effect on an icon pack, even on the third party icon packs. This is something new to me. Let me know how many of you guys find this exciting. We can increase or decrease the noise here using the slider and we can also change the grayscale here. Let me just reduce this and let me uh, maybe put it in the middle and let's increase the noise here. Now you can see it retains the colors and it also has this kind of shining effect, grain effect, which look beautiful. Now I will reduce the grayscale to maybe 30%. It gets more colors, 20%. It gets more colors here and it actually looks pretty cool guys. You're gonna love this. Just maybe set it to the center here, maybe with 50% and uh, a noise level 50%. It looks pretty cool. Now this is one option, film green. Then we have got dual tone option. Check this out. We've got two different colors for the icons. Now here I, have, I can select the shadow and highlight color. Now let me change the shadow color here maybe to green and I'll change the highlight color maybe to black. Look at this. It looks pretty cool, isn't it? We've got this green shadow and uh, dark highlight color here. And we can also change the tray color over here. This is how we set dual tone. Now instead of green, let me select maybe red. And instead of black, let me select maybe uh, blue or let's change it to maybe yellow. Yeah, this is how it looks. We have got dual tone colors now, which look pretty cool. Now, if you want to apply film green effect on this effect, you will not be able to do that because when you go back to film green, you will get the previously selected uh, effects here. And when you go back to dual tone, I can see the effect which I just created. Next, we have got glass. Now, this is something which some of you guys may be excited about. Let me tap on glass. Now here we've got three different customization options, edge, light, and angle. Let me show you how this works. Let's select the icon color here. I will maybe select blue. Now this is icon color and the glass color you can select by tapping on this. You can change the transparency level here and you can also change the saturation level here. Now let me set the saturation level to maybe here and transparency level here. I'll tap on OK. Now this is the effect that you're gonna see and I can also change the glow option. Let me select maybe, uh, I'll just change the saturation here. Let's keep it to white. I'll tap on OK. Now this is the glow option. Now, if I want to change the angle of this glow, you can see I can change it. It has come to the bottom here. If I slide it towards this side, you can see it is going towards the right side. It goes to the top, it goes to the left, and it comes back to the bottom over here. That is how you can change the angle of this effect. And we can also change the light here, the intensity of the light. You can see this is the maximum that we have 
and this is the minimum that we have. I'll set to maximum and I can change the angle over here. This is fantastic. Now let's adjust the edge. I will increase the edge effect here. You can see this is how it looks. If I reduce it, this is how it looks. I'll just keep it to minimum here. And now let me download this and let's name this as glass. And I have already created glass, so let's override this. And here we have it. Let me apply glass effect icons. Tap on apply. And now let's go to the home screen. Here we go. We have got this cool glass effect here with blue accents on the icon, which look pretty cool. Now, if I go to the app tray here, you can see more or less all the icons have got this glass effect, but some of the icons are not even visible here. This is strange. And some icons don't even get this effect. But yeah, I think there is some issue here. I think they will have to rectify this. As you can see, the third party uh, icons don't get the effect here. And uh, let's say Samsung icons. We got all the icons. The smart tutor is gone. It is not even visible. Let's open Microsoft icons. Yeah, it has got the effect. Let's open Google icons, Google app icons. We have got the effect here. But yeah, I think there is some work needed here. If they work on this and make this perfect, nothing like it. Because we always want icon customization. We always download icons from the third party icon packs or the applications like icon pack studio. If good luck team itself is providing us these kind of advanced customization options for the icons, then we don't really need to download any third party icons. We can go ahead and customize everything on the uh, uh, theme park itself and create your own icon pack, which will look amazing. And you can create it as per your requirement. And here, of course, we can change the icon shapes as well. Let me just change the icon shape to maybe uh, squircle here. And now let me apply the uh, film grain. And this is how it looks. Amazing, isn't it? Now let me tap on dual tone, glass, and we also have gradient option. Yeah, we almost forgot about the gradient option. Now let's check out the gradient option here. We can select uh, icon color, start color and end color. And we can increase the angle or decrease the angle using this slider here. You can see the angle of this color combination, the gradient color combination is changing. Now let me select the icon color here, maybe blue. And let me select the start color here. Um, I will make it dark maybe. Let's select dark. And I will select the end color here. Let's select maybe yellow. Look at this. This is how it looks. I think we will have to change the icon color here instead of blue. Let's make it black. Or let's just remove the icon color here. This is the default icon color that we have. And we have got the gradient color options here, which is amazing. You can uh, customize this as per your requirement. Change the angle of the gradients here. As you can see, we can use the slider to change it. This is amazing. We have got some advanced icon customization options now with Theme Park. But what is really missing on Theme Park is, let me just go back here. Now here, let me tap on theme and create a theme. Now, uh, while creating a theme, we are only able to customize a few elements here. You can see we've got home screen, lock screen, keypad, quick panel, and uh, Samsung messaging application. But we can't customize the dialer here. We can't customize the settings here. We can't customize uh, the other options like these applications here. I think Goodlock team should remove these uh, options here or make it work. And maybe add some more elements here to customize the theme. That would be really fantastic. This is it. This is something new on Theme Park Engine. Let me also show you the version number here. The latest version is 1.1.01.23. The update may not be officially available. It is rolling out, so you may get it very soon, so stay tuned. And if you want the APK, Theodism on X has uh, recently shared the APK for a Theme Park Engine. I will leave a link for that in the description. So you can see the change log here added the following effects to the icon pack, basic film grain, a dual tone, glass, and gradient, and also improved the UI and fixed bugs. There are some minor changes in the UI here. Uh, if you can see this start button here or create new button here, the gradient color has slightly changed. Uh, it is not like before. And uh, when I create new, you can also see some changes on the top right corner here. We just have two options here. Uh, earlier we had another uh, icon here which resembled the gallery icon but now we just have two icons on this top right corner so uh, there are some minor uh, fixes minor changes even the sliders you can see it is slightly different uh, it, this uh, resembles the material you theming on the uh, pixel phones you can see the slider resembles that so that is another change which samsung has made i think in the future we will see some material 3 expressive designs uh, getting in incorporated on the samsung galaxy phones one ui as well so that might also happen soon in some of the areas on the galaxy phone anyways that's about it that's all i have here 
in this video let me know what do you think about these customization effects do you think you're going to use it drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit the like button let's reach at least a thousand likes for this video thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye